My name is Lisa Langell of Langell Photography. Today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to what layers and masks are when you're using Photoshop. Layers in Photoshop are much like glass windows where you can have multiple panes of glass covering the window. Different things can be on each pane of glass. So let's take for an example a snowy day in Colorado. We can add a layer and make it look like we're looking out a window or it's framed. A layer is just simply another piece of information overlaid on top of the other piece of information, which in this case was the original image. I can turn that layer on or off to make that frame appear or disappear. Layers stack on top of each other. Perhaps you'd like to see this better as a window with panes. And now you can see that I've added two more layers, which are these black frames around the window. So maybe, for example, now you have a child that comes along and wants to spray paint frost on the window. I could come in with another layer and add the frost. I can paint in the frost using one of my tools. And that's not the purpose of today's presentation to show you how to do the frost, but essentially I'm doing this with a white paintbrush with a spray type of pattern to it. Okay, so now you know that that's another layer. I could add another layer yet, and I could write on this. So if your child had a paintbrush, and we could change the paintbrush to another type, I could go in here and write on here. Okay, so there's another layer. I could make this layer appear or disappear by clicking it on or off in Photoshop. So layers allow you to build and stack pieces of information or images or writing or treatments on top of the original image that you had. Masking comes into play when you'd like to add or remove components. So for example, what if, in this case, going back to my frost, I don't like the fact that when my child spray painted the window, they got it on the frame instead of just the glass. Masking is much like masking tape. If you remember the days when you would paint and you would mask off part of the wall or part of the boundary between one portion of what you wanted to paint and another portion that you wanted to keep the paint from going on, you would use masking tape. Think of masking tape as a mask in Photoshop. So in this case, I'm going to go to my frost layer on the right hand side. And then I'm going to click this little box with the circle in the middle. That will make this layer a mask. Next, I'll go over to my paint palette and I'll make one color completely black and click OK. And then click on the white and make sure that is completely white. You can toggle between these two by clicking the little bent arrow or by hitting the X key on your computer. So in this case, black will remove the layer and white will add it back in, allowing you to play when you make mistakes rather than using the eraser tool, which would allow you to erase part of a layer. However, bringing that back in at a later time can be much more difficult because there are only so many times that you can actually undo something in your Photoshop tool. So I recommend using a mask and that mask is very forgiving because it allows you to remove or add in subjects that are in that layer. So I'm going to my frost layer now. I'm going to my paintbrush and I'm going to this black mask. Now I can go in and I can set my opacity at whatever I want. In this case, I'm going to do it at 100%. I can set my brush hardness at whatever I want from a very soft, fuzzy brush at the edge to a very hard brush at the edge so you get really tight, clean edges. And I can go in and mask out my frame. So this is one way to do it with a brush. Or the other thing I could do is go to my rectangular marquee tool and I could draw a marquee in a perfectly straight line like so. And then I could go to my black brush and I can do this and it will make everything within that box disappear. So you can see how you can remove things with that mask. Now I can switch over to the white paintbrush 
And if I use 100% opacity, everything that I just removed, I can bring back. Or perhaps I want to use partial opacity. I'm going to switch back to my black brush to remove, and the opacity of my brush can be changed to maybe 20%. So maybe I just want to make this a little more gray, but I don't want to remove it altogether. You are partially masking out the subject that you are painting over. So that's at 20% opacity. I could go back to 100 and remove it all. Whatever I click on will go away. So masking allows you to add or remove at whatever level of opacity you would like a layer until you have just exactly the look and feel that you like. You can save this as a PSD file and it will preserve all of those layers or you can go to layer, flatten image and it will discard any hidden layers, meaning layers that you've turned off in the process and now you're left with one single background layer and you can do with that what you like. You can also save, even if you have multiple layers, the image as another file type, such as a JPEG image. And you can save that and it will save it as a single flat layer. Or you could save it as a TIFF file and it will preserve those multiple layers as well. So layers are simply stacks of information on top of one another in Photoshop. And you can change the transparency and opacity of those layers by changing the opacity here. For example, I can take this frost and change the opacity to zero and now there's no frost. Or I can gradually bring that frost back in. But the opacity also can be played with at a global level on that single layer. Same with turning on or off a layer by clicking the eyeball button. I can leave the I love snow and then change the opacity to something much more transparent or bring it back in so that it's more opaque. All right, that's a simple understanding of what layers are. There are so many things you can do with layers and masks, but this at least explains what a layer is, as I know a lot of people struggle with understanding that. Would you like to learn more? Stop by my website at langelphotography.com and click on my events and workshops page. I offer classes and workshops in Arizona, across the U.S., Alaska, Canada, and more. I hope this has been helpful so that it enables you to photograph the world beautifully. Have a great day!